What specific problem does the LEGO method aim to solve in the context of federated learning and language model deployment? The LEGO method aims to address the challenges of deploying language models in federated learning Florida environments, particularly in resource-constrained scenarios where privacy is paramount. It facilitates the use of small language models, SLMs, derived from large language models, LLMs, by treating them as composable building blocks, allowing for efficient fine-tuning and inference while preserving user data privacy. LEGO optimizes performance across heterogeneous client devices with varying computational resources, enabling the aggregation of different sized SLMs into a robust global LLM. This approach overcomes the limitations of traditional Florida, which typically requires homogeneous model architectures, by allowing for the combination of diverse SLMs that can adapt to localized user interactions. Ultimately, LEGO enhances the flexibility and effectiveness of distributed conversational AI systems while maintaining data privacy and improving model robustness. How does the LEGO approach work? Illustrate the step-by-step -step process from obtaining SLMs to producing a fine-tuned global LLM. The LEGO approach operates through a systematic two-step process to create a fine-tuned global LLM from smaller language models. SLMs. First, it begins by obtaining SLMs of varying sizes through the pruning of a larger LLM, specifically using sparse GPT to induce different levels of sparsity, e.g. 0%, 25%, 50%, and 75%. These SLMs then serve as local client models within a federated learning, Florida environment, where each client fine-tunes its respective SLM on local data. After fine-tuning, the model weights from these client SLMs are aggregated using the HETAG method, which accounts for the heterogeneity of the models. Finally, this aggregation results in a global update that is applied to both the client SLMs and the global LLM, iteratively refining the global model until a robust, fine-tuned LLM is achieved. Can you explain the concept of building blocks in the LEGO approach and provide a simple example of how different sized SLMs are combined? In the LEGO approach, building blocks refer to small language models, SLMs, that are derived from a larger language model, LLM, through a pruning process. These SLMs can be of varying sizes and sparsity levels, allowing them to be tailored to the computational capabilities of different client devices. For example, in the experiments, four SLMs with 75% sparsity were created from an LLM, and each SLM was fine-tuned on local data. These SLMs were then aggregated to form a robust global LLM, demonstrating how smaller models can be combined to leverage their individual strengths while maintaining overall model performance. This stacking of SLMs allows for flexibility in model selection and efficient knowledge transfer, as seen when SLMs of different sizes contribute to the final aggregated model. What are the main advantages of using the LEGO method compared to traditional federated learning with LLMs? The LEGO method offers several key advantages over traditional federated learning, Florida, with large language models, LLMs. Firstly, LEGO enables the use of small language models, SLMs, as composable building blocks, allowing for the creation of a robust global LLM from various SLMs tailored to different client device capabilities, thus enhancing flexibility in model selection. Secondly, it preserves data privacy by allowing localized fine-tuning on client devices without the need to share raw data, while still enabling effective knowledge transfer between models. Additionally, LEGO optimizes performance by employing a heterogeneous aggregation technique, he tag that accommodates different model architectures and sparsity levels, which is not feasible in traditional Florida that assumes model homogeneity. Furthermore, LEGO demonstrates improved efficiency in both fine-tuning and inference, achieving up to 1, 6 times speed up in inference and 1, 4 times in fine-tuning, compared to 0% sparsity LLMs. Lastly, the method effectively addresses the challenges of data heterogeneity, allowing SLMs to adapt better to diverse local datasets, resulting in a more robust global model. How did you validate the LEGO method? Describe the experimental setup, 
data sets used, and the metrics for assessing performance. To validate the LEGO method, we conducted a series of experiments using the Databricks Dolly 15K dataset, which covers eight different capability domains. The experimental setup involved creating small language models, SLMs, by pruning a large language model, LLM, to various sparsity levels, 0%, 25%, 50%, and 75%, and deploying these SLMs in a federated learning Florida environment. Each client SLM was fine-tuned on local data, either task-independent or task-dependent, and then aggregated to form a global update applied to the global LLM. We assessed performance using accuracy metrics, comparing the LEGO approach against baselines such as FedIt, and observed improvements in inference speed up to 1, 6 times and fine-tuning speed up to 1, 4 times with the SLMs. The results demonstrated that LEGO effectively enables knowledge transfer and produces a robust global LLM, outperforming traditional methods in heterogeneous data scenarios. What were the key results of using the LEGO method in your experiments, and how do they compare to the baselines like FedIt? The key results of using the LEGO method in our experiments demonstrated significant improvements in both fine-tuning and inference speed, achieving up to a 1, 6x speed up in inference and 1, 4x in fine-tuning when compared to 0% sparsity LLMs. In terms of model performance, LEGO outperformed the FedIt baseline in scenarios with task-dependent non-I, ID data, achieving an accuracy of 0, 571, compared to FedIt 0.563. Additionally, LEGO effectively facilitated knowledge transfer between differently sized and shaped SLMs, allowing for the aggregation of models with varying sparsity levels, while maintaining robust performance. The experiments showed that smaller models contributed more effectively to the final LLM, confirming that LEGO allows for flexible client model selection and enhances the overall robustness of the aggregated model. Overall, LEGO not only matched but exceeded the performance of homogeneous FedIt models, indicating its potential for superior adaptability and efficiency in federated learning environments.